Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and on today's episode we're going to be featuring a team with G-Max, Perish Trap, Gengar. It's going to be a lot of fun, I hope you enjoy it. Stick around till the end of the episode and there will be a rental team for you guys to try this team out for yourselves. And before we get into anything today, I just need to say that uh, the, the whole basis of this team is based around Gengar and Lipod. Now, I can't take any credit for this combination. Uh, it was a Japanese player on Twitter. If I can find their, their original post, I will post their handle down in the description below and all credit goes to them. So the basis is you can G-Max with Gengar, but once you G-Max, you don't have access to Perish Song. You can trap your opponent with the signature g-max move which is the g-max terror but unfortunately because you've got two more turns potentially of your g-max form you can't press that perish trap button opponents are trapped it's really clunky it's not working his streamline as something like mega gengar that we've seen in previous formats but the wizard way around that we've got copycat on lipod so we can press the perish trap button and max guard with g-max gengar and then copycat that will then perish song the whole field so it's a really good way of trapping in your opponents and then obviously protecting gengar while getting the perish song set up with lipod the rest of the team we've made up with incineroar gothitel obviously to help with our trapping with the shadow tag there we've went for a another perish song user in lapras it gives the team another mode as well with the um the the g max lapras there and you can see the kind of trends around lapras you've got the gothitel kind of replaces the Dusclops with the Trick Room there supporting that side of it. You've got the Incineroar with the Intimidate support. Another partner that you commonly see with Lapras and then the Conquer there as well. Another partner for Lapras. Helps out the Gengar as well because the, the Gengar Lipod struggle against Tyranitar. Uh, Conquer there does a great job against those kind of threat so hopefully it's gonna be a lot of fun hope you guys enjoy today's episode like i said there will be a rental team at the end of the episode so do stick around for that without further ado we'll get into it because i've bubbled on enough the, the annoying thing is as well uh, i'd already recorded this episode with two insanely good battles um last night i uh, went to render the video and realized that i hadn't got my mic on so i've had to kind of ditch that if you guys would like to see that episode because the games were literally some of the best games we've probably had all season uh, let me know i'm quite happy to dub over it i just felt a little bit uncomfortable because there's little of me stick sticking down in the the corner and it'll be like a bad bruce lee movie with the, the dub in there daniel oh <laughs> would you have guessed it okay well we've got um okay well you know uh, this is this is all right. So we've got a bit of a mirror here for that first opponent today playing Gengar and Lipod, the Cover Knight, the uh, Flapple or Appleton, sorry, uh, Renuliclis and the Snorlax. Okay. Um, well, got to worry about the Trick Room, but not so much because we've got Mega Gengar. The only thing that can't switch out once we trap them is the opposing Mega Gengar, and if it doesn't have a Sash, then we can get rid of it pretty quickly. Uh, we've got Thunder Wave on our Lipod, so we can paralyze it and hit it first. Um, and we've got Sash, so I feel like pretty comfortable going with Gengar Lipod lead. It's what we go in the back, and you know what? I think hmm, I really would like Lapras just for the second uh, Perish, especially if they've only got two Pokemon left. Um, maybe Gothitelle as well. It's just the oh well. You know, if it was Falapple, I'd probably be a little bit more in doubt. But because it's Appleton, it's not going to hit as hard as Falapple. It's not as offensively threatening. I think we've got a little bit more room, especially with Lapras, to uh, set the Perish Song up and maybe stall out at least one turn against it. Because, um, well, we need to stall two. I'm, I, I'm confident we could potentially take two turns. Especially if we can get in a position with Gothitelle to stop it. If it does come, it might not even come, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so Lapras and Lipod for my opponent. Uh, okay, well, they could potentially fake a, li a Lipod out. They could. I don't know if it's really something you want to do. Like, there's always that rule, isn't there? Don't fake out a big good user. Unless you're certain. But then it's it's never really the, the best play. I'm going to Thunder Wave the opposing Gengar and just go for the Max Terror. The other play we've got here is just going for the Foul Play and then the Max Terror. Uh, obviously, Lipod's slower than um, 
Gengar, so we would be moving after it, but it would mean that um, we would potentially be able to take them down if they are sashed, but let's hope that they're not sashed. Let's hope we can get the T-Wave off. And then we can uh, we can win the Gengar War, because once their Gengar is down, then the next turn we can potentially... Uh, well, we've got the Lipod trapped in then, um, and depending on what the Lipod does, this is all going if we've got the Gengar, then we can maybe go for the um, the, the Max Guard Perish copycat play. Right, well, let's see what happens. So, fake out. No! That's not what we wanted to see. You're not playing by the rules. Come on, come on. Okay, well, we do hit first. Is it going to be enough? Oh, they are sashed. <laughs> They're sashed, we're sashed. Everybody's sashed. Okay, hmm. And they're going for the terror as well. Okay, well. Right, so we're both sashed. Hmm. Um. We could go. Like, they're probably gonna max. They're gonna. Uh, see, we could max guard here, right? And then. Uh, I'll play the Gengar. The chances are that they max God as well. Uh, let's just do this. Let's just go for the copycat play. Um, because then the next turn we can... If they do max God this turn, um, then we can go for... Okay, well, I'm not going to see that. At least we get the Perish onto the opposing Lipod. We'll see what the opposing Lipod does as well. It'll be interesting to see what they do. They go copycat. Are they just going to copy copycat? How does it work? No, they go for the Perish as well. They knew that we were going to go for the Max Guard. They knew it. Max Starfall. Okay. Interesting. Gengar does get access to Dazzling Gleam, but we do have the Roselli Berry on our Lipod, so we should just about be able to take that, which is quite handy. Um, I think they... I think they protect this turn. Um, hmm... I want to go into the Gengar, I really do, but it's so obvious that they, they max guard here. I feel like they do max guard. Um, yeah, but I think their, their kind of priority is to take our Gengar down, right? Hmm. We're not going to be able to kill the, the Lipod, for sure. Right, we'll just go for that. We'll go for that. Okay. We'll go for the T. We'll go for the double in on the Gengar. Okay, well, we get it. No! The Misty Terrain, it protects us. Okay, well, they're just going to do the same as us, so it's all good. I forgot about the Misty Terrain. Ah, all right, well. Okay, well, they take down a Lipod. I kind of prefer that, honestly, because um, they're going to lose their Lipod anyway, and we still get to keep our Gengar. They're just copycatting. I wonder what the set the light pod's got. Okay, well, I didn't expect to come against the mirror, like literally. Um, no way. It was just like the the thing I just didn't expect. It was the, the thing I least expected, to be honest. Uh, hmm. The misty terrain's up. We've got access to fake out, so we can take advantage of that. Our Gengar is going to revert to its its normal form now. Um, okay, this is alright, isn't it? We can potentially perish song again. Hmm. That kind of like to keep Gengar. That's the only thing. So what are we better off doing? Because I think the... Hmm. I want a perish song. Where am I faking out though? We're going to fake out the Lipod. Or... It's likely the Lipod has Taunt. So we want to we want to shut that down. The Appleton. It probably get... Oh, it's Protect. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, we get this place. So this is great. And we get to keep Gengar now. Um. Alright. Well. Things just took a little turn for the better for us. So... 
Right. Um, Gengar, Lipod going to go down the next turn. Um, we want to switch in to Lapras here. Uh, and we'll just protect with Gothitelle. Because this... Well, we still got to stall out the Appleton, right? Um, but... As long as Lapras doesn't get taken down this next turn, then we're still in a decent position. And it depends what the last Pokemon as well is. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm so sad that that episode that it did previously, like, um, just is no good with the, the mic. It's annoying having a mute button on your mic. I wish it didn't have it there. Or I wish I could just snap it off. <laughs> um, but never mind. The games are so good, but hopefully we have just as good games in this episode. I'm, I'm confident that we will do. Right, Gothitelle protecting on our side of the field. Just avoiding any damage. Copycat coming out. Going to fail because it goes into the protect and then the leech seed. So that is literally ideal. Lipod going down now. So my opponent down to their last two Pokemon. Right. Um, hmm. And we do potentially have a play where we could, depending on... Ooh, okay. Snorlax. Hmm. I think we set the Perish as soon as possible. We don't want to set the Trick Room because the Appleton's slow, the Snorlax is slow. Um, Belly Drum scares me on the Snorlax. It really does. But it's all, I think we're alright because we've got the Gengar in the back. As long as we can get a Perish Song up, it's fine. Like, we don't care about Leech Seeds at this point. Belly Drum would be a little bit scary. We've got to get through three turns. We may as well attack here with Gothitelle. There's the belly jump. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. Where are you going, Snorlax? I think the thing that scares me most is probably Earthquake from the Snorlax. Because it hits everything. Okay, well, the Leech Seed, like I say, it doesn't really matter because we're just stalling out. Um... Now, Gothitelle will be down to, I think, yeah, we probably need to switch Gothitelle out this next turn. So Lapras is three, Gothitelle's one, Snorlax is three, Appleton's one. Okay, right. Uh, we protect with Lapras. We switch Gothitelle out to Gengar. Um, and then Gengar hopefully goes down here. We can bring Gothitelle back in. We can the Appleton will be gone. We can fake out and attack with Lapras, then double protect the next turn and we win. All going well. <laughs> That's how it should go. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh Apple Acid. Okay, well gets rid of the Gengar, which is ideal. This is exactly what we want. Um, and the Snorlax is going to go for Darkest Lariat. Alright, well that's that's super fine. Um, now the Leech is going to take a little bit. Um, but it's fine. It's still fine. Appleton going down. And Snorlax will be on two. So, like I say, all we need to do is fake out, attack. And then we should be able to get our first victory, which is ideal. Okay, so we're off to a good start. I think the thing that I was fearing most, because of that, that previous episode, was so good, um, was I was just so scared of like coming into this and it just being a complete disaster, because it's, it's always a chance when I come on. Always a chance that it could be a complete disaster, but we're, at least we're off to a good start, and we're off to a good start in this episode. We've got at least one win, so that's perfect. Pleased to show you guys that we came through on top there. The mirror's a weird matchup, but um, yeah, I like, I because this is such a new combination. We've just had GMAC Gengar like introduced to the format. It's not something I expected to kind of see uh, so soon on the ladder, but I guess it's kind of picking up a little bit of steam. And the other good thing about this uh, episode, I guess, is it's going to make you guys aware of, of what this, this kind of combination's capable of. Um, so that will be good so you don't get caught out by it so hard we've got bolo up next as our next opponent so let's see what they're running okay delmise oh it's full of ghosts <laughs> like the the one thing the one type that we don't want to see they're going to switch around freely against our, uh, our trapping abilities okay so we've got uh delmise mimikyu the togekiss gengar uh machamp and drampa the grandpa so uh potentially 
two G Max Pokemon on my opponent's team, the Gengar and the Machamp, both new Pokemon to the, the, the series, just being introduced. Got heavy Trick Room options there, haven't you? The Drampa loves Trick Room, so does Delmise. Uh, Mimikyu, good setter there, as well as that Delmise. I'm pretty sure Delmise gets Trick Room. And then Redirection with the Toe Kiss. Um, are we better off going with Lapras in this game? And it might not be a bad idea. Um, although, G Max Terra is pretty good. The Mimikyu scares me more than anything else, if I'm like completely honest. Um, and I think if we went Lapras, we could potentially... Like, I don't know how they deal with Lapras outside of the, the Machamp. Um, <sighs> Machamp does scare me a little bit, I've got to say. Machamp Togekiss definitely is a scary thought. And then Lapras is no good there. So I'm going to go with our trusted trusted lead there. And we need to pick two more Pokemon. I think we'll go Gothitelle and we'll go Lapras. Yeah. Incineroar is not bad here, um, honestly. But it's always nice when you're playing like the main Perish Trap mode to at least have Perish in the back. So um, if Gengar does go down, at least you've got kind of the back of Perish. Um, trap user. Perish is really hard, like especially Perish Trap is really hard to get going in this format because of the, the, the just the lack of Perish song users that we've got in the format. Like you've really only got a few viable ones. Uh, Gengar, Lapras, Primarina are probably your S tier ones in this format. Uh, you've got Cursula. Um, obviously you've got like stuff like Eviolite, uh, Haunter if you want. It does have Levitate so there is an option there. Um, but yeah, it, it, it is difficult. It is super difficult. Um, okay, so I think what we will do is we'll go foul play into Mimikyu. We've got no taunt. Taunt would be super useful. Um, but if we see a trick room, we can copycat it the next turn. And um, um, yeah, yeah, we can copycat it the next turn. I want to break the disguise in the Mimikyu though. Um, and I'm going to go for the G Max Terra into Delmice. Delmise might protect you, or it might even max itself, you know. Uh, the Sash just gives Gengar a little bit more security, I guess, against, like, just the one attack. Um, I guess there's the, the, the fear of um, Gengar being doubled up into this turn, which wouldn't be ideal. And there's the, there's the Protect. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, Gengar's not going to get hit here. I think we just see a Trick Room, honestly. Um, the problem is going for the Copycat this next turn. It means that we've got to attack. Because if we go Max Guard, then the uh, our Copycat will copy the Max Guard. Oh, Weakness Policy Delmise. Uh, which is not ideal. I'll play. We do. We're gonna break the disguise in the Mimikyu. So that's that's good. That is good. Um, I think we've got to hope that the Delmise attacks into Gengar and we don't get doubled up into. I think that's a big kind of hope here. Um, because we've got a copycat, right? That'll get the that'll get the trick room. As long as we don't see a Shadow Sneak. Like, a Shadow Sneak would be really bad. And the Delmise is go going to max, for sure. It's got its weakness policy boost. It's in Trick Room. So, as long as Gengar doesn't get doubled into here, I think we should be alright. Um, and we should get the kill on Delmise. Um, and it's tempting for my opponent, I guess, here to get rid of the Live Pod with the Play Rough. Like, attack into it. Um, and you might even suspect... A max guard on the Gengar. Oh, actually, it goes first, so we get the trick room off before everything else. This is ideal. I forgot we got the prankster. <laughs> this is the best trick room, anti trick room tech ever. Okay. <laughs> oh, this just gets better, and I swear this just keeps getting better. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like realizing a mechanic halfway through the game. There's the player rough, as we suspected. Uh, the trick room's not even a thing now. Uh, we do take that because of the Rosalie Berry, so that is ideal. I wonder if we see the Toga Kiss come in now. Um, potentially. Potentially. But I really want to try and get rid of this Mimikyu. Um, which you can do with another Max Terra. 
copycat is such a great, great move. That is probably one of the greatest turns <laughs> I've ever had in Pokemon. I played Pokemon a long time. So surprised by that. Okay, Drampa. Grandpa is coming out. Cloud Nine. Okay. So I think effect tears here could be quite nice because we don't I I want to prioritize getting rid of the Mimikyu, right? So I want to max terror it right now. We want to take away the, the option for them to trick room. Like we've got trick room as an option in the back, but we've not got the slowest Pokemon like out of the two teams that, that we've got on the field at the minute. Like Drampa's gonna be slower than Lapras. Um it hits like a truck. Uh, it gets Thunderbolt, it gets Energy Ball, so it's not the kind of Pokemon that we want to be um, allowing under a Trick Room, for sure. And it can potentially max. My opponent hasn't maxed yet, so they've still got their max. Um, as long as Gengar gets through this turn, then we've got the Perish Song button that we can hit. And that's the big thing for us, I think. Um, we're just doing the Fake Tears here because it, it makes Lapras's life a lot easier when it comes in against this Drampa. Worst case scenario. Max Terra hopefully takes down the Mimikyu. Um, yep, and then they've only got two Pokemon left now, so we'll revert back to our normal form. And then we can just hit that that Perish Song button and then just kind of switch around smartly. Hydro Pump. <gasps> okay, well, we do dodge, so that's that's nice. We still got our Sash intact. Okay, and Macham coming in. Okay, well, it's alright, isn't it? It's alright. It's fine. It's super fine super fine actually um could we just be that that yeah we'll go for the fake tears into match uh or we could thunder wave it we could thunder wave it i mean thunder wave's kind of nice um because it could be it could be guts right uh no we're not gonna do that we're gonna fake tears it because we're just gonna activate the guts if it is guts uh let's not be silly about this let's just perish song and fake tears and then both pokemon on my opponent's side of the field are like at least weakened especially um majority of our team is is our special attackers anyway we've got gengar obviously got the lapras and the gotham tail okay and the sash really the sash really helps us out here you've got to double into the gengar to get rid of it this turn if they don't then we've still got three pokemon um, to switch around with and that's more than enough for us to take advantage of um the perish the perish that we've got here so uh we just got the fake tears into the matchup uh perish song there we go perfect and cheese strike so gengar's all right this turn uh it will be into lipod um now the crit rate will go up on both the matchup and the drampa crit rate scares me a little bit honestly uh what's a drampa gonna go for like a dragon attack dragon pulse if it's got it i would say more consistent than hydro pump flamethrower okay well that's fine um everything went to three okay Right, well, we'll bring Gotham Tell in. At least we can, like, at the very minimum, we can, um... We can stop the Dramper attacking this turn. And I think what we'll do is just fake out into the Dramper, and we will switch into Lapras. Why don't we just protect with Gengar? Thing is, we could see a Max Darkness come out here from the Machamp. I don't think it'll get Gotham Tell. Um... Could take yeah we'll get lapras in because i think it's a good opportunity to get lapras onto the field and then we can protect the next turn with gotham town we still got gengar in the back i think that's a better way to go uh then protect with gengar here and then switch it into lapras the next turn so there's a fake out uh we do stop the dramper attacking this turn max steel spike okay that's super fine like that's super super fine and I think the thing they are with Perish Song is you've really just got to calculate like these three turns in advance. Um, like you've got to be thinking about what can I do? What switches have I got available to me? When can I protect? And what can I do to make sure that I just lock this game out so my opponent's got no way back in? Like now they've really got no way when we do protect here, they've got no way to kill the Gotham Tower. We're not in kill range. Uh, they haven't revealed Max Darkness, which is something that I would suspect to see on something like Matcha. Um, but you know, at this point, like we've got two super bulky Pokemon out on the field. Um, 
and the perish songs are like really ticking down for my opponent so this the next turn what we can do is just pull what we did the last game and pull gothitelle out of here or gengar back onto the field just attack with lapras maybe into the grandpa um switch gengar in um and then we've got gothitelle in the back to come in if if things go really bad but by that point i think uh we'll win because we've got the double um we've got the double protect as an option anyway so yeah uh, this is it i mean like yeah we just everything's down to one now so they're gonna just go down to whatever we don't even need to switch if you don't want to but um we will switch we want to preserve gothitelle and we'll go for a freeze dry into drampa lapras probably likely to take a uh, fighting type attack here we could kind of try and pull some shenanigans by switching Gengar into Lapras to take the fighting type attack but I mean there's really no need to risk anything right now Lapras faster than both the Machamp and the Drampa the fake tier is coming in super useful there uh, so we might not even need the, the Perish after all but the dynamic punch taking good old Lapras down um, unfortunately and we're gonna see a what we're gonna see we're gonna lose Gengar I think Draco here heck yeah we're losing Gengar you did good Gengar though you did really good this episode Good Gengar, good Gengar. I honestly think I've really changed my mind. When when I first kind of thought about G Max Gengar in this format, I thought it's just not going to be that good. But honestly, I, it's like I think this team has completely changed my mind. So I would definitely recommend you guys trying it out. And I will say one thing about the team: it does take a little bit of getting used to. But once you got the hang of it, and once you got the flow with it, it really starts to feel very good and very strong and Gengar feels great honestly don't be scared to bring it um and take advantage of the li the light pod with the, the support there um but we do pick up another win so that's excellent that's really good so it kind of like matches yesterday's episode at least and very good game to bolo uh always great to play you and like i mentioned at the start of the episode my friends i did say that we would reveal the rental team for you guys so i'm just gonna hop in obviously doing the episode yesterday i already created it so i'll save us a little bit of time i'll be able to just pull this up for you right now and uh if you do try it out please um let me know what your thoughts are on the team i would love to hear how you're getting on with it the fun that you are having with it hopefully and uh all those sorts of shenanigans so have fun, my friends. The team is great, honestly. I'm going to keep working on this in the background, playing, because I'm just having a lot of fun playing it, so I will be tweaking it along the way. So this might come back as uh, an archetype later on in the, the series with a few changes, um, and if I do make them, we'll definitely revisit this um, over on stream or maybe a showdown episode, so we'll see what happens. But thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. If you've enjoyed the episode, as always, drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel for more of this content, more Pokemon content in general. We do news, we do guides, we do all sorts. It's all Pokemon here. So if you're a Pokemon fan, do hit the subscribe button and uh, enjoy lots more content in the future. So I think that wraps it up for us today. Have a great rest of your day, my friends, and I'll see you all very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.